is the PGA champion. Touchdown, Georgia! Friends set to get reacquainted as Jim Beheim's Orange meet Patrick Ewing's Hoyas and memories of a golden age of college basketball are rekindled. like the 1980s all over again. It's Georgetown, it's Syracuse, Patrick Ewing, and Jim Beheim, and we have it for you here on CBS. Hi, everyone. So excited to be with you from D.C. alongside the great Clark Kellogg. I'm Spiro Didis. Clark, it's like the good old days again. <laughs> Back to the future, if you will, Spiro, for these two story basketball programs and all over the country across college campuses. Final exams have been taking place. For these two teams today, they go from quizzes to semester exams. All right, let's start with Jim Beheim's Orange. They have been led till this point this season by their great sophomore from Edison, New Jersey, Tyus Battle. One of the outstanding scoring guards in the country, Spiro, because he has tremendous size, good range, and mechanics on his stroke. He's also an excellent driver, but he uses that size to be an excellent two-way player. Good at both ends is Tyus Battle. Meantime, Georgetown led by their star, their junior from Queens, New York, Jesse Govan, one of the top rebounders in the country, and average and over 20 a game. And that's an elect, that's a select club when you talk the 2010 club. The big fella is highly skilled, has tremendous range on his jump shot, finishes around the rim, and is getting better as a defensive presence. Mark, what about our AT&T fast analysis? Well, you know Syracuse wants to set up in that half-court 2-3 zone, so one of the things the Hoyas want to do, as Patrick Ewing has this team playing with great pace, is to score in transition. Defend, rebound, fill your lanes, and let's get something easy and early. And that's something that'll bode well for them here today. For Syracuse, they've not shot it well at all from the perimeter, Spiro, but they've got a number of guys that can glass eat like no other team in the country. As a matter of fact, they're second in the top five in offensive rebounding percentage, and not only do they get those boards, they convert them. Georgetown, one of six remaining unbeatens in the country. Today, they face by far their biggest test of the year. The tip next on CBS. Big East is officially closed. 